Hey, guys. I'm Mr. Recap. Today I'm going to explain a movie called The Hidden Face. Watch out, spoilers ahead. Don't forget to subscribe on the channel if you like movie recaps. And please share in the comments below, what you think about this movie. Adrian is a young promising orchestra conductor, watches a video of Belen, his girlfriend, telling him that she still loves him, but she can't carry on with him, so she is leaving. She asks him to not come after her. Adrian becomes heartbroken by this message. He goes to his washroom, throws some water on his face, takes a sip from his drink, and then goes for a drive in the rain. He stops at a bar to have a few drinks in order to numb the pain and forget about her beloved Belen. A waitress named Fabiana, comes to him and asks him what he wants to drink, he replies that he will take the whiskey. The waitress comments to her friend and tells her that she does not like to see grown men cry. Her friend responds that a man only cries when he is guilty, but Fabiana says that this isn't always true. Later she comes over to Adrian and tells him that they are closing up. Adrian is really drunk and manages to run into another guy in the parking lot. The two start brawling with each other, but the guy's girlfriend stops the fight and drives away. Fabiana comes out of the bar and asks Adrian if he can go home. Adrian takes out his car keys and hands them to Fabiana, asking if they can go to her place. So, she drives him home. They have a good time in the car, as Adrian conducts the music playing from the radio. She takes him to her home, and lets him sleep off his hangover on her couch. The next day, Adrian wakes up and he doesn't know where he is. Fabiana asks him what happened the previous night, why he was so miserable. But Adrian stays silent. He quickly drinks his coffee and leaves in a hurry, without saying goodbye to her. Fabiana continues to watch him from her window as he gets into his car and leaves. After this, Adrian holds a class, but ends it in the middle of practice, as he gets too distracted from his work. At the same night, Adrian goes to the same bar to apologize to Fabiana for his behavior in the morning, and asks her if she can sit with him. She says that she has to work, so Adrian makes her another offer. He brings her to the theater which he works at, as Adrian tells her all about the different instruments. They hit it off instantly. The two are about to kiss when Fabiana stops him and asks him whether he is married or has a girlfriend. Adrian says that he is neither, and the two then go over to his house and do the adult stuff. The next morning, Fabiana wakes up early and goes to the bathroom, and sees that Adrian has two brushes. She then brushes her teeth. After, Fabiana starts hearing strange noises from the drain, so she decides to look around at Adrian's mansion. She even gets to meet his pet, German Shepherd, and then goes downstairs only to find shoe design drawings on a table, which clearly belongs to someone else. She picks one up, but just as she is about to observe it closely, Adrian comes and asks her to have breakfast, in order to distract her from the drawings. While the two have breakfast, Fabiana tells him that his house is huge and why he doesn't live in the city. He answers that he needs peace in order to fulfill his creative desires. Fabiana asks him if he has to work today, and he replies that he doesn't, and that she should stay the night. Fabiana agrees to the proposal. A little later, two detectives show up at the house, and start asking questions about Belen's disappearance. Their names are Francesco and Bernardo. Fabiana is frightened when she sees one of them. It seems then Detective Bernardo and Fabiana know each other. We learn that Belen disappeared without trace, and the police is looking for her. They start searching the house, as the primary suspect in Belen's disappearance is Adrian. They ask questions about Belen. He shows the detectives the workstation she left there. The detectives start looking around in the garden, which makes Adrian frustrated, as he thinks they suspect him killing her and burying her outside. Adrian believes that Belen just ran away with another man, to start a new life somewhere else. He also tells Fabiana that he tried to contact Belen's family, but got no answer from anyone. The detectives are unable to locate any evidence of Adrian's participation. Later that night, Fabiana takes a bath, she hears the sound again from the drain, and notices that the water is moving, even though she is completely still. She jumps out the bath and runs to Adrian. Lighting flashes outside, and the light goes off, which makes Fabiana scream. Adrian calms her down and tells her it happens every time when there is a storm outside. They are about to do the adult stuff, when Fabiana sees that the dog is in the room, looking at the glass of the cupboard. She is uncomfortable and asks Adrian to take the dog out. The next night, Fabiana has a conversation with her friend, Detective Bernardo, about Adrian. It turns out that Bernardo and Fabiana used to date back then. That's why she was frightened when she saw him in Adrian's mansion. Bernardo asks her whether it was a good idea to date someone who is a suspect in his girlfriend's disappearance. She tells him that Belen left and Adrian has nothing to do with her disappearance. He bitterly says that it looks like Fabiana got what she wanted, a guy with money instead of a detective with a bad salary. Later, Adrian and Fabiana go to an orchestra conducted by Adrian. After the performance, Adrian introduces her to his manager, called Tito. And Tito tells Adrian that they will never forget him, as we learn that Adrian plans to leave his job soon. Fabiana seems to have moved in with Adrian, and she is taking a shower when suddenly the water gets hot. 
She turns back the dial, but it becomes hot again. This burns her shoulder, and she gets out screaming. Fabiana approaches Mirror to check the burn, when she starts to hear the noise again from the bathroom sink. She starts to tiptoe out of the bathroom, but the door behind her opens, she is spooked, but it turns out it was only Hans. After the bath, she goes out to sit and sees that a storm is approaching. Later that night, she is jumping on the bed enjoying herself, when she spots a key-shaped necklace lying under a grate on the floor. She puts it around her neck. Suddenly, the light goes off, and she thinks that she has heard someone, and continues to call out to whoever it is. She picks up a fire poker and screams out once again. Hans scares her once again and she slips and hits her head on the piano. She faints, but Adrian returns and takes care of her. He brings her painkillers and a glass of water. Fabiana shares that she doesn't feel comfortable being by herself in the mansion. Adrian assures her that nothing bad is going to happen. He thinks that it was only bad luck with the lights going out and Hans scaring her. She tells him that there is a ghost in the house. Adrian first laughs at her, but she is adamant and takes him to the bathroom, and asks him to put his ear next to the sink, a place from where she thinks she heard voices, but Adrian just says that it could be wind in the piping. He then jokingly warns the ghost that if it messes with Fabiana, it would have to deal with him. But Fabiana remains curious about what is really happening in the house. The next morning, he receives a call from detectives. They found a body that resembles Belen, and he has to identify her. Adrian and the detectives visit the morgue to see the body of a young lady. Adrian tells them it is not Belen. Even though the pathologist told them that it's impossible to identify the body, because the whole body is damaged by fire. Adrian drives home, and as he gets inside, he hears Fabiana saying sorry, to someone upstairs. He confronts her about this, asking who she is talking to, while in the bathroom. Fabiana says she was just quoting a book and deflects the question. He tells Fabiana that Belen is no longer in his life, and she doesn't need to worry. As they hug, Fabiana looks at the mirror, and it is revealed that someone is actually behind it, that someone is Belen. A flashback then begins as Adrian and Belen ride bicycles through some streets. Adrian is cooking food, and Belen asks what the occasion is. Adrian tells her that he has got his dream job, to conduct an orchestra. For his job in another country, he must leave in 15 days, for about a year. This makes Belen upset, but Adrian tells her that she should come up. This is something that Belen can't accept, as it would mean leaving her life behind. But her love for Adrian wins over, and she agrees to go, provided that he loves her and won't leave her. Adrian is then shown conducting the orchestra, as Belen watches on. She starts looking for him after the concert, and finds him talking to a violinist called Veronica. It raises concerns and she thinks Adrian might have an affair with Veronica. The two are now looking for a home in this new city. The couple drives to a mansion a little outside the city. The home is owned by a German woman, who is going back to Berlin. So she decides to rent out the place with one condition, to look after her dog, Hans. Belen and Adrian soon move in and start to unpack their things. The two are a perfect picture of a couple, deeply in love with each other. Belen is later shown at a leather factory looking for some special kind of leather for a shoe that she has designed. Belen receives a call from the German woman, who seems to want to visit her. So, Belen decides to visit Adrian first. When she comes into his office, she catches Adrian and Veronica having a private chat, accompanied with whiskey in his office. This makes her angry, and she leaves the office. During their trip back, she asks Adrian if something is going on and whether he flirts with all the musicians. Adrian assures her that nothing is wrong, and the two make up during the night. The next morning, while Adrian is showering, Belen goes through his phone and finds messages between the two of them. As Adrian is about to leave, she asks him again, why he and Veronica have been calling and texting each other. Adrian confesses that he has been flirting with Veronica, but nothing more happened. She wants him to fire Veronica from the orchestra, but Adrian denies his girlfriend's request and leaves for work. On the same day, the German woman comes to their house, and Belen tells her all about her problems. Belen is curious what would Adrian do if she would die or go missing. And the German lady says that her husband was also involved in work. The lady tells her that she should act on this idea, to find out if Adrian really loves her. Then she asks Belen whether she can keep a secret or not. Belen says she can, and the lady shows Belen a secret room, which they built in order to hide her husband in case someone came to look for him. The chamber is soundproofed and self-contained. There is a one-way see-through glass, where she can see everything happening on the other side. There is a speaker in the room, so every conversation from outside can be heard. Now only she and Belen know about this chamber. The lady leaves the mansion, and tells her she is going to call her when she gets to Berlin, and Belen thanks her for sharing her secret with her. Belen hatches a plan to get back at Adrian for his actions with Veronica. Belen decides to record the video and head into the shelter room, to find out what Adrian does if she goes missing. She is packing her stuff to make the story of leaving more believable. When Adrian suddenly arrives home, she grabs her stuff in a hurry, but the key falls into the vent unnoticed. 
She heads inside and locks the door on herself. She observes Adrian's reaction to the video. She is happy because he seems heartbroken. Adrian calls Belen, but her mobile phone cannot be reached. He sends a voice message, telling her that he has taken a look at the video, and he doesn't understand. Adrian seems distraught, and he throws the bouquet, he had brought for Belen, toward the mirror. When she wants to get out of the room to reunite with Adrian, she realizes that she didn't bring the key with her. So she is trapped in the room, she starts hitting the glass and screaming for Adrian to help her. The room being completely soundproof, makes her scream inaudible for Adrian. Her phone has no signal in the room. In desperation, she even tries to unlock the door with the other house's keys. She then starts bashing the glass with a chair, but it has no use. She continues to watch Adrian and calls out for help, but Adrian cannot see her, and she sees the level of hurt she has caused him. Adrian takes the video to the police, and they ask him if he has suspected someone, but Adrian says that he doesn't know anyone. He also tells them that the night before, they had a couple spat. The officer tells him that there is no traces of murder or kidnapping, and that they would contact the immigration office and see if Belen had left the country or not. Meanwhile, Belen checks every corner of the room, when she finds the late husband's uniform in a closet. She proceeds to read a journal and finds out that the lady's husband used to be an SS officer during World War II. She finds a can opener, and starts craving a hole in one of the walls. She also manages to find old canned food inside one of the drawers. She tries to eat the food, but it is already spoiled, so she spits it out. She tries to wash the taste out with the water from the tap, but the water is brown due to the old pipes. Despite this, it is enough for her to survive for a while. Later, Adrian watches the video one last time and tells her all the best. Belen is furious upon hearing it. She thought that he has to wait for her for the rest of his life, like Hachiko. He goes to the bathroom. When Belen hits one of the pipes in anger, she realizes that the water in the sink moves when she hits the pipes. She starts desperately hitting the pipes to bring Adrian's attention to the water. Adrian doesn't notice the water ripples. So Belen proceeds to carve the wall. The dynamo light breaks so she has to spend her time in the darkness from now on. She hears a noise and goes to one of the mirrors, where she sees Adrian bringing Fabiana to the house for the first time. She completely collapses as she watches Adrian and Fabiana doing the adult stuff. She continues to mutter, Adrian, please don't do this. Belen is absolutely distraught after seeing this, and she starts crying, as the speakers continue to relay their moans to her. The next morning, Belen yells at Fabiana calling her a bitch. That was the first time when Fabiana heard the noises from the drain. And Belen realizes that Fabiana might be her only way out, so she tries to communicate with her on multiple occasions. But the first attempt wasn't successful. So she goes back to carve the wall, when she finds out that a thick metal plate is behind the concrete wall. She does everything in her power to get noticed. That's why she started messing with the water temperature, when Fabiana was taking a shower. Belen sees that Fabiana found the lost key to the room, so she starts banging on the mirrors to get her attention. Fabiana ignores this once again, as she can't hear her. We see the scene, where Adrian gets a phone call to identify a body. After he leaves, Fabiana looks into the mirror and smiles, as she believes Belen is dead. Belen says that it's early to rejoice. Fabiana purposely fills the bathroom sink with water, to test if the water will move again when she asks questions. She says to start and stop while watching the water moving. She realizes that someone or something is trying to communicate with her through the water. Fabiana asks a bunch of questions in order to find out who is doing all this stuff, that's when she makes sure that is really Belen behind the walls. She asks Belen if she is trapped somewhere, and she soon realizes that Belen is alive behind the walls. Fabiana finds the secret door, and Belen finally sees the light at the end of the tunnel. Fabiana inserts the key, but suddenly stops and hesitates. She takes out the key, without opening the lock. She decides to keep Belen locked up, so she can be the only woman in Adrian's life. We see the scene again, where Fabiana was saying sorry to Belen, and Adrian asked her about it. Belen cries in agony, as she sees Fabiana hugging Adrian. The next day, Detective Bernardo comes to Adrian and tells him that the Belen's case is now his responsibility. He then goes to Adrian's car and says that Adrian should be very careful with whatever he does. Adrian is taken aback by this. Then the officer says that if he hurt Fabiana, he would kill him. Then, Detective Bernardo comes to the house and hands Fabiana photos, which shows Adrian having an affair with the violinist Veronica. Parallel to this event happening, Adrian break things off at work with Veronica. Fabiana is tormented about the events took place lately. She fills the sink with water again and starts asking Belen to make sure that she is okay, but she gets no answer. She feels extremely guilty for not letting Belen out, when she first got the chance. She thinks Belen might be dead. Because of this, Fabiana makes the big decision to let Belen out of the hidden room. The door opens and Fabiana gets in the room in order to find Belen. Belen is laying unconsciously on the bed. 
So Fabiana tries to wake her up by shouting her name. Belen suddenly opens her eyes and smashes a bottle on Fabiana's head. She manages to knock her out and grab the keys for the room. She rushes out and closes the door, trapping Fabiana inside. Belen leaves the key on the bed. She also leaves a photo on the mirror, which shows Adrian with her. The girl goes downstairs and turns on the answering machine. From the message she learns that the German lady passed away in Berlin and her family wants to sell the mansion. It means that now only Belen and Fabiana know about the secret chamber. Belen then leaves the house. Adrian arrives a moment later, he finds the key on the bed and has no idea what it is. A few days later, Belen is sitting at the beach, finally finding peace. The camera cuts for one more second to the hidden room, where we see Fabiana hitting the glass. And now the only resident at the mansion is Hans. So, my friends, that was me recapping the movie The Hidden Face. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe, it's incredibly important to me.